the Fremont County's only dialysis clinic is closing in just over a week. Patients are trying to figure out how they will get to appointments nearly 30 miles away. Curio 13's Annabelle Childers reports from Canyon City on the challenges facing one nonprofit as it tries to fill that need. Drivers with Senior Services Solutions take patients here living in Canyon City to different medical appointments throughout the area. I talked with one driver today about what this job means to him and why he hopes other people will get involved as well. I'm going to put my seatbelt on. Yeah, please. Yeah. Nine years ago, I was looking for another job because I was disabled. Bill Hancock stumbled upon an ad in the local paper calling for drivers to take seniors to their medical appointments. And since that day, he's driven all over Southern Colorado. This is a field that you don't see a lot of people volunteering for, um, but it's a n unspoken necessity pretty much. After hours spent in the car, he's become friends with his passengers and he's learned their stories, but things are changing. It's kind of personal to me. My sister started dialysis about three, four months ago. The only dialysis center in Fremont County closes November 4th. The closure means patients that rely on dialysis multiple times a week will have to travel 30 minutes away to Pueblo West for treatment. And for those who don't qualify for Medicaid, we are pretty much their only option. You know, we've had to turn a few away right now because we're short on drivers. Because dialysis appointments last multiple hours, an influx of new passengers will take drivers more time and it'll cost more money. But Senior Services Solutions is trying to meet the growing need. This is a matter of life and death to these people. The nonprofit is now looking for more drivers and for donations so they can continue to serve people here in this community. If you'd like to find ways that you can help, you can find those resources linked on KRDO.com. Reporting in Canyon City, Annabelle Childers, KRDO 13. Over the